hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele as you can see we have some beautiful fresh tomatoes here and i thought why not make some ketchup and i'm going to share two ways that i do that so i begin by peeling the skin off my tomatoes and i do that by adding some hot water to the tomatoes cover it up until the water is cool enough for my hands to handle meanwhile i'll prep some garlic ginger and shallots you may use regular onion if you prefer and since i'm using fresh tomatoes i decided to use fresh of everything all right and this is about 12 minutes later and the water is nice and it's not cool it's warm for my hand to handle and as you can see the skin comes off very easily and my tomatoes are not too soft or cooked so i'm gonna take all the skin off and then we'll move on to the next step Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut and deseed my tomatoes. I'll then dice them up and transfer it onto my stove. I'll bring it to a boil and then once it boils, I'll lower the heat and have it simmer until the tomatoes are nice and soft. Okay, you want to be careful with the fire because you don't want to leave it on high. It'll burn. You don't want that unless, of course, you want to make smoky ketchup. <laughs> Onto the stove it goes and I'm going to go ahead and bring it to a boil. Once it boils, I'll lower the heat and have it simmer down beautifully. And do you see all that water that came out of the tomatoes? Although I didn't add any, I allow it to continue simmering until most of the water have gone down just like this. You can see how nice and thick it is beginning to look already. So it is time for me to transfer it into my blender. I then go ahead and add in the garlic ginger and shallots and as I said you may use regular onions if you prefer next using a fine mesh strainer i'm just going to strain this out to ensure that it is nice and smooth it is optional you don't have to do that i choose to go through this extra step now that all of this is out our ketchup is going to be nice and smooth so i'm just going to go ahead and set that aside okay moving on i'm going to add some cornstarch into this tomato juice right here and i'll stir it in until it is nicely dissolved this is the juice that i got from straining the seed of the tomatoes but you may use water if you prefer i'll then add it to my tomato puree give it a quick stir and then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients Next, we're going to go ahead and season this with some salt and I'll also add in some sugar. I'm using brown sugar because I love the flavor of it. You may use honey or any other sweetener of your choice. I'll also go ahead and add some rice vinegar. You may use any vinegar of your choice, but I prefer to use either rice or apple cider vinegar give everything a good good stir and allow it to simmer down on low heat until your sauce begins to thicken up just like this do you see how glossy it is beginning to look already it is thickening up beautifully so i'll allow it to simmer for about 10 more minutes and i should get it off the stove because if you allow it to thicken completely on the stove top once it cools down it'll get even thicker and you don't want it too thick you want it to be just right 
my sweets. I am at the consistency that I'm going for. My ketchup is ready. It has cooked down about 75% of the way. Remember, the longer you cook it, the thicker it becomes. Also, the colder it gets, the thicker it becomes because of the cornstarch content in it. So I transferred it into my funnel cup and here it is cooled down completely. It is nice and thick. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into my squeeze bottle and this can be stored in your refrigerator for up to a month. We'll now move on to our second method, which is the easiest method. All you need is some tomato paste. I have here some natural sugar. You need some vinegar. You can use apple cider or any type of vinegar that you like. Water. I have my homemade onion powder, garlic powder, and ginger powder. We also have some salt, which isn't homemade, okay? <laughs> the next part is very easy. We're going to add all the ingredients in at the same time and stir it together beautifully and then we'll bring it to a boil once we bring it to a boil we'll lower the heat and have it simmer down until our sauce thickens up and our ketchup will be ready now that everything is nicely mixed i'll lower the heat and have it simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes and then it'll be ready and there you have it it is ready do you see how quick this is this is for those days that your kids want to enjoy something with ketchup and you check in your refrigerator and you don't have any more you just want to put some together quickly for them yes this is what you do and this particular day i had to go to work so i just transferred it into a ice water bath because i wanted it to cool down completely before transferring it into my choice of storage container all right yes you can buy this it's very affordable but you can also make it because there come those days that you just ran out all right yes y'all transfer it into your choice of storage container and this should last in your refrigerator for up to a month enjoy this with your french fries your chicken whatever it is you want to enjoy it with thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini ochemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all